Hi, this is Brandon with Hawkridge Systems. Today we'll be taking a look at how the Collaborative Designer for SOLIDWORKS on the 3D Experience platform can help us to collaborate with our team using our CAD data. Controlling access to files, revision control, and using life cycles to manage our product releases is all built right in for a SOLIDWORKS user to take advantage of right away. Let's use the life cycles and maturity states graph to bring in an old project onto our new cloud storage space, and we'll take a look at how we will manage the revisions of our product moving forward. Today we'll be working on revising our wireless router assembly. This may have come from an older project that we now are choosing to put into our collaborative space on our company tenant with the platform. These files have already been saved to our collaborative space and you can see they are in the released maturity state. If at any time I choose that some of these components need to be revised, for example, the router top, it's simple to right click on the assembly and choose a new revision of the selected components as well. Here we'll go ahead and enter a comment about what it is we're changing. In this case, we wish to add a logo to the top of our wireless router as well as some other features. Once we've initiated the new revision, we'll see that the files are then indicated with the next revision letter, in this case, B.1, and the files have been locked to my username. This helps the rest of my company understand that the files are being worked on by me and other users are not allowed to save their changes until I release my ownership. With the changes made, we'll simply flip back to the assembly document and upload the changes that we've made to our collaborative space on the platform. You can see that the files that have been changed are indicated with a new status symbol, and we'll simply use the save with options command to upload our new revision of this file back to our cloud collaborative space. While the files are being saved to the platform, you do have some additional options for how to handle these new revisions. Take a look here. We can see that only the files that have been changed are the ones that need to be saved back to the platform. We'll go ahead and leave a comment about what was changed, documenting the work that we've done. I can even select a bookmark that will ensure other users have an easy way that they can find these files when they go back to the platform environment. If it happens that I've forgotten to unlock the files during the save with options command, I can always unlock them later to allow another user to take ownership of these files. In this case, we're ready to send them to the released maturity state. This will allow other users in my cloud space who are allowed to see released data to now be able to see the updated assembly. I hope you found some useful techniques for managing your data on the 3D Experience platform. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more SOLIDWORKS tips.